Three members of Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo's inner circle made their first appearance in court today where they will be fighting felony corruption charges. Our political reporter Greg Grugan's investigation last August triggered this criminal investigation and today he had a front row seat for the proceedings. Hi there, Greg. Hey, Rashi and John. Looking understandably rattled, Hidalgo's chief of staff, policy director and former emergency planning advisor stood before a judge and heard a prosecutor allege that they conspired to steer millions of tax dollars to a hand-picked vendor. Alex Triantafilis, Wallace Nader, and Aaron Dunn, three members of Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo's inner circle, now have mug shots. Each appeared in court for arraignment on felony charges of tampering with government documents and misuse of official information in connection with an alleged $11 million bid rigging scheme. Bond was set at $3,500 for all three. We are going to follow the law. Uh, we'll follow the evidence. Prosecutor Mike Levine says the criminal charges followed weeks of both investigation and deliberation. We had a grand jury that met for a long time, that heard from a lot of witnesses. Uh, they were dedicated, they were focused, they paid a lot of attention. While defendant Wallace Nader left the courtroom without offering comment, attorneys for Trianta Phyllis and Dunn pledged to clear the names of their clients. The DA's office brought charges. They have to prove them beyond a reasonable doubt. I represent an innocent man and we look forward to fighting it. There's been no wrongdoing here. We're, we're glad to be in a fair and objective forum finally. Uh, there's been one side of the story released to date and reported on. Uh, we're excited to have our side of the story out there and, and, and we're confident it will show that our clients will be vindicated. All three defendants will continue their jobs at Harris County with Lena Hidalgo saying, I don't think it's a coincidence that unfair accusations are being levied at my team in the middle of my reelection campaign. I do not and will not cave to bullying and dirty tricks. Rice political analyst Mark Jones says the crime wave primary election debacle and corruption allegations have driven Hidalgo's favorability rating into negative territory. All of these negative things are beginning to add up and erode her support among the broader electorate. And this survey was done before these indictments came out against three of her staffers. So I would suspect if we pulled today, the numbers would be a little lower. Meantime, Dunn, Nader, and Trianta Phyllis were ordered to return to court in 60 days after their attorneys have fully reviewed all the evidence that will likely be used against them. In the newsroom, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.